Der, og så der er det. Og der, korrekt. Sånn. Det som jeg har lært her, det er at det da, den skal på halsen. Vent. Da skal ja. du fuste på. Så du tar opp den på halsen. Så bare stikk, ikke blås knallhardt, men bare blås litt. Ja, så er det greit ut. Bra. Mm -hmm. Da er vi i gang. Da kan du komme deg opp på møllet også. So the first we're going to do now is uh, we're going to uh, test uh, a warm up for five minutes, and uh, then uh, after five minutes we're going to slowly increase every um, every minute, every second minute. Uh, Silje is a trail runner. Uh, we have been to Mont Blanc recently, so she's really good. So we have have her on ten degrees uh, elevation because if she would run on, on flat, she would probably run faster than the treadmill. So, uh, and she also has no need of finding out how it works for a flat running for her, because she only runs in mountains anyways. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what results this will bring. Hmm? Close enough, close enough. <laughs> uh, so there's something called RER, which is basically uh, tells how much uh, of uh, a percentage of fat and carbs you're burning at the same time, or the mixture of those. The higher the intensity, the more carb-based, and, and this number goes from uh, uh, zero 07, which is just fat, until one, which is just carbs. Uh, for now, you're laying, uh, you're, you're around 0 0.8, which means that you're just, this is just a nice stroll for you. But when this hits one and goes over, that's when you start producing lac uh, lactate uh, in your muscles. So I can actually see when that happens. Uh, so I can read this off when you're starting to actually be stressed. Uh, but for now, this is just uh, a nice walk in the park. It's brutal with grader. Sorry. <laughs> I'm using uh, what's called a Pino system, uh, which is a carry-on uh, VO2 max testing. It's, a, it's calibrated and uh, studies show that it shows uh, the same uh, number of uh, uh, that m more expensive equipment uh, uses. But she's actually carrying the whole thing on her back now. That means that I can do these tests other places. I can also do bike tests, so there's no, not only running tests. I can basically do a lot of different tests with this, but uh, but of course for now for now it's uh, running. Det går gæt, skal jeg? Ja ja. Ja ja. Men jeg nu starter det om 20 sekunder. Er du klar? Ja. Okay. Da så. Very good, Cecilia. You're doing great. Heart rate is around 160, which would mean that you're starting to have a workout, basically, I think. You're, uh, you're using uh, fire in a good way. You're uh, using uh, glycogen and uh, your body is responding well to this. One more minute uh, and then we'll increase one more kilometer. Increase to nine. Fem sekunder til. Det er bra dette. Og nå er det til ni. Bra, nå hører vi det jobbe. Det er godt. Bra. Ser du jobbe? Det er tøft å stige av fart sånn som på denne måten her, men du er knallgod. Ser vi vi er rett under... Siri is working well. She just uh, competed, so... Um, so um, the pulse is growing up to 175. She's still got a long way to go, but it's starting to get heavier. And these tests never get easier. She got She's nearer her, uh, her um, lactate threshold now. She's getting closing in. So, um, so uh, we will uh, work her on uh, this, this speed for uh, one more minute, then increase to 10. Bra, Silje. Ser ut som du stabiliserer seg litt bra, det er bra. Det 
30 more seconds and then we'll increase to 10. You can do this. Now post. Du tar det som er ut i deg, og så stopper du når du ikke klarer mer. Jeg tror du har masse mer i deg. Til ti. Se, du kan ikke ut til ten. All right, let's get fighting. You're in your lactate threshold. You're working hard. The pulse is increasing. 180. This is your spot. This is good. This is good. Bra. Oh, stop. Bra. Bra. Also, ner, ner, ner. Also, bare pust vanlig. Bare pust vanlig. Prøv å ikke snakke med meg. Bare så skal vi ta dette på. So, Silje has not, uh, not been feeling well. So uh, I think that would be some indicators on her test now. Uh, she usually can uh, have this uh, pulse for a longer time, I would think. And um, but uh, she's a little bit, she's been a little bit sick, and um, you don't know how that will affect you before you actually press yourself. And uh, I think it was difficult for her to breathe. Uh, but uh, but we'll see uh, how she feels afterwards. Now she's doing a cool down, two and a half minutes, just to see how well she recovers from this, uh, um, this test, but a perfectly executed test should take between 9 and 14 minutes, and uh, this took about 12, so uh, we're in something. I can see you had 120 of lactate, which is insanely high. Ta med ett minut til. Og så, og så hopper vi av, og så ser vi litt på dataene sammen. Så blir det kjempespennende. Så so du kan se, si, she went from 180 uh, on her pulse to 125 in one minute and 50 seconds. That's, uh, that's pretty good, I would say. 10 seconds and then she's done with the test. And uh, her pulse is 115. That's pretty good. End test. And test and save. Då kan du stoppa och kan då kan du prata, ta dig masker och göra allt du vill. Mm -hmm. Då stoppar jag. Följt du då att du? Hä? Vad säger du? Vad säger du? Kan du säga? Vi säger papper. Papper, ja, ska du få. Yep. Right, let's see if we can find the find your test. Should be in here already. Usually it takes a very short time. There you are, treadmill test. So uh, I'm thinking, you know, because of a little bit of maybe sickness, but we don't know. Let's see. But what it found? It found um, 58.8 on your VO2. Oi. What's your normal one? I think I had maybe 50 or 51. All right. So that's not a bad. Yeah. Bed. So maybe not the, such a bad test, anyways. Then. No, maybe not. <laughs> this is uh, because the thing is it's calculated out from uh, your speeds and let's see if uh, everything uh, fits. Uh, so let's see the watts here, uh, the speed when you were running here, we're doing uh, 10. Yes, we're doing 10. So this is correct. Mm -hmm. So um, it shows your VO2 max is, uh, so, yeah, so maybe not a bad test anyways then, hmm. but maybe a little bit fatigued, but it's a hard test. And last time they were pushing you very slowly upwards, weren't they? Uh, I think maybe, I think I started at like 5% incline. Yeah yeah. 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 And then increasing the incline. So I, I and also know. the speed. I think that's what did it this no, time. No, no, no. They didn't in, uh, increase the incline. I think it was just the speed. Just speed. Yeah. Oh, so it, 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 wasn't, it, was, it wasn't hard enough for no, you. Because the thing. Uh, Olympia Tobin has two different tests. Okay, yeah. And so yeah. it was the one with the incline. That Olympia yeah, yeah, uses. gradually increasing. Yeah, increasing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think they managed to get your VO2 test. Your oxygen, I think your something else stopped you before. But let's see what we can find here. So uh, your um, your max pulse on this one. Uh, let's see. You had the highest measured was uh, a higher peak uh, mean was 177. So a calculation usually is 
um, this plus about five would be your normal max. So I don't know why the why the, the why it stopped them before. Your VO two max is fifty eight point eight or fifty nine. I would say rounding up, which is um, that's good. That's good. It's good, especially good for a forty two year old woman. Forty. Twenty one. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. <laughs> so, uh, so um, uh, because uh, for a woman of fifty nine, I mean that's that's very high. That's uh, you're uh, you're in your uh, your bi biological age. I actually a study I got yesterday that was done in Norway that uh, a twenty year old woman would have an uh, an uh, VO two max on average on forty forty four. So you're basically healthier than a twenty year old. Which is pretty good.